much enough. Sometimes too much of a good thing can have damaging consequences. Consider the world we live in. You can stay connected with friends, family, and so on at any time via a large growing number of electronical devices. Good afternoon, Professor Shaw and classmates. The purpose of this speech is to shine light about how too much exposure to technology we use every day can lead to health consequences. However, our dependency on technology, such as cell phones, computers, and other appliances, can be harmful to our well-being. The first appliance that, we're, our, that we are dependent on is the famous cell phone. According to new studies by the National Institute of Drug Abuse, shows that 50 minutes of cell phone use can cause radiation, which can affect the brain. The radiation affects the brain's function to metabolize glucose. Glucose is a sole energy source in the brain that is under normal dietary function. Also, another way cell phones can, can affect health is by using the cell phone while driving. Whether it be texting or talking, both can be dangerous to one's health. They both can cause death. Texting and driving has become one of the top killers of teenagers today. According to the National Safety Council, the number the number one driving distraction reported by teen drivers is texting and driving. The second appliance we have become dependent on is the computer. The computer has become a part of American life. According to Wesley University, hours behind the computer can take a toll on the human body. Instead of exercising, sitting behind a computer can cause weight problems. Researchers at the University of Los Angeles said in an article in the American Journal of Genetic Psychiatry that if you spend time on a specific mental exercise, you can strengthen your brain's neur neural circuits. Those researchers also found that if you spend a large amount of time talking to people on the internet instead of on the phone or in person, the circuits that control human contact skills are weakened. The hold that technology has on many people can lead to symptoms that are similar to depression or obsessive compulsive disorders. Good news is that you can step away from the computer when you want. You don't have to follow family and friends online all the time. If, you're, if you are checking email or a social media dozens of times each day, you, can, you can't seem to go very long without being online. Reward yourself when you do, do something else. Set a timer when you go online. When, then promise yourself a small reward, like calling an old friend, taking a drive in the country, or using a local farmer's market after the timer goes off. When you're really trying to de-stress, limit your electronic screen time. When all the electronic devices, with all the electronic devices available today, you have a limited opportunity to check social media and email. If you're feeling overwhelmed, take steps to de-stress and curb the overuse of technology in your life. Thank you.